Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing and highlighting the C2 or Constellation 2 on Hu Tao, as I think it's absolutely fantastic, but I will preface it by stating I don't think it's needed for your Hu Tao, but of course it allows her to be a little more viable, a little more flexible, and it allows her to do more damage, of course. So we're going to take a look at that and some more gameplay highlights from the stream. By the way, thank you so much for coming out to the stream once more. I do appreciate that support. We're going to be taking a look at that. But there's also, before we take a look at the stream highlights, there is one thing that I did want to go ahead and make sure that I show specifically because I didn't show it in the stream highlights. And that is the tick damage that the Blood Blossom actually does in regards to the c2 so with that being said let's go ahead and jump straight into it all right guys now really quickly i did want to go ahead and mention the constellation or go over the c2 just in case you're unaware of what it does and i know i have her fully maxed out um, be on the lookout for that C6 showcase or Constellation 6 showcase should be coming very soon and it's absolutely fantastic. So if you want to stick around and see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bells because it's going to be absolutely nutty. Now, moving back over to the Constellation 2, I got a little off track there. Uh, Ominous Rainfall increases the Blood Blossom damage by an amount equal to 10% of Hu Tao's max HP at the time the effect is applied. Additionally, Spirit Soother will also apply the Blood Blossom effect. So this is in regards to the Blood Blossom that does the tick damage over time, which I'm going to highlight here for you in just a second. And a very good benefit of this C2 is that her ult or the Spirit Soother will also apply the Blood Blossom effect. So optimally, the way that you can play Hu Tao is pop her E skill and then pop her ult. All the enemies around you will have the Blood Blossom and then you can focus on attacking. So you don't necessarily have to make sure that you charge, attack, and he hit each enemy to apply the Blood Blossom. You can just ult and then you're good to go. So it's a really good constellation. Once again, not one that I think is needed. But it does allow your Hu Tao to hit a little bit harder, it does more tick damage, and it makes her a little more flexible in the aspect that you don't have to focus on charge attacking each enemy to get the Blood Blossom applied. And it goes really well and in tandem with her C1. It's just absolutely fantastic, this combination here. Also, I did want to go ahead and mention in regards to her talents that the Guide to Afterlife is a talent which is her E skill that increases the blood blossom damage as well so just wanted to quickly mention that now i want to go ahead and showcase this on the ruin guard over here and show you the tick damage and how it actually works because when i did her c1 showcase i didn't show the blood blossom tick damage which at c1 or c0 it does it did for me roughly about 3000 somewhere around there and you'll see with this, uh, with the C2, it does roughly, I believe, about 5,000, a little over 5,000, uh, depending on if it crits or not. Which, I should mention, the Blood Blossom tick damage can crit, and when it does, it's fantastic. So, let's go ahead and showcase this, and I'm not going to do anything else besides apply the Blood Blossom so you can see the tick damage. So, let's go ahead and pop this, pop that, and here we go. So, let's see, uh, tick that was a crit. Oh my gosh, 28,000, 18,000. My I didn't even know it was ticking for that much. Hold on. I got to I got to reapply. Excuse me. I'm sorry guys. I didn't even know it was ticking for that much. You can see how ridiculous that is. 28,000. I am shocked myself, guys. I am so sorry. 18,000. Let me go ahead and if this doesn't kill, see, that applies the blood blossom. I healed back up and 17,000 whole 17 my goodness so i've seen ticks of about 5,000 because i tested this before i started recording <laughs> i hope you guys know and i i was seeing it tick for about 5,000 this is the first time i'm seeing consistently crit and tick for about 17 to 28,000 incredible i'm surprised by my own showcase that was absolutely ridiculous but Nonetheless, it kind of drives the point home that the C2 is really, really nice. Once again, I, I don't think it's super necessary. I'm, I'm saying this coming off the heels of seeing what we just saw. But 
you also have to keep in mind that my Hu Tao is absolutely decked out to the max. I mean, and I showed this in the C1. Like, she, she's utterly ridiculous the way I have her built. By the way, I did get an R2 Staff of Homa. I, I did some pulls off camera. I did get an R2 Staff of Homa. <laughs> I'm so ridiculous. And I do have the Crimson Witch. Um, I didn't mention that earlier because I just didn't think it, it really was necessary in regards to the C2. But yeah, you can see the C2 is absolutely ridiculous. And the talents do have something to do with it as well. Getting it to 13 does make a mass massive difference guys an absolute massive difference so i don't want you guys to think i'm not taking that into account or acknowledging that it's at level 13 that i have this crown but uh nonetheless you can see how how pretty nutty it can be and when you apply that to a massive amount of um enemies when you have a lot of enemies around you can tell how it, it can do a lot of damage and it can be super super beneficial and once again in combination with c1 you're just you have an absolutely ridiculous uh hu tao at your disposal so anyways i'm sorry about that i was surprised myself <laughs> i was really really surprised about that but i'm gonna go ahead and show the stream highlight gameplay it's literally gonna be my first impressions of unlocking c2 and just c2 alone not including all the other ones it's just gonna be c2 by itself unlocking it for the first time and utilizing it for the first time my first impression and reaction to it but nonetheless guys down in the comments down below let me know what you guys think about it let me know what you thought about that ridiculous number that we just saw and once again i pretty much killed that ruin guard by simply applying the blood blossom by itself um and i and i understand i have my hutao decked out but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and um i'll roll that stream highlight for you right now not fully c6 all the way because i want to do a video on c2 um and then i want to do a video on c6 so i might use gameplay from this stream for c2 so i might unlock on today's stream up until c5 on today's stream because I might use some footage of the C2 from today's stream to do the video. That makes sense. Hey, oh. that's what I like to hear, my man. That is what I like to hear. So let me shield up. Bom. Let me go and drop that down. Drop this down. And now it's time to go absolutely berserk. Was that 66? That was 66,000. Ho. <laughs> Ho. Uh, let me ult. Jeez. Uh, I didn't mean to jump. Shield up. Do that. Uh, Alright, skill should be back. C1's kind of broken. I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> C C1's kind of broken. Alright, let me shield back up. Drop that down. And that should be it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hop back in here. I wonder if I, I don't think I need to heal. I think I can actually, I think I actually do this. She crushed those fire resistant for two agents. She, she does, yeah, she crushes everything. <laughs> she crushes just about everything. All right, so, let's go here. Coco Dayo. Let's see that. Let's see that. See that. Um, be together. All right, good heals. Do that. Do that. All right, and should be almost back. All right, cool. We're back. Back in business. Jeez. <laughs> she just started working on my Xing Cho, getting him together. So yeah, we're we're working on that. 100% working on that. Go do that. Shield up. Drop this down. Come over here. Okay. Okay. Think I saw 60,000. Nice. Oh. Okay. That's the domain. <laughs> Hi, just found out. Uh, found out about your channel. Hey, Kurin Puri. Welcome to the stream, man. And I'm glad you support. Yeah, we got 24k. I think right at the end. Uh, they ended the event early, so I started working on my new opening for 4.6. Oh, okay, Kuda Bomb. It's good to hear, man. I'm, I'm glad. I was just wondering where you were at. Um, Hu Tao C1, Pog, Mind Strong. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, are you going to summon for HOS? Uh, probably not, YKTV. Probably not. I'll definitely go for Hu Tao on her rerun banner. Yeah, you'll definitely have it all saved up by that time, uh, Re Reardon. Hi, um, can you try Barbara with Hu Tao? Uh, I don't have my Barbara built, unfortunately, so it just, it really wouldn't work out. Oh my gosh, that, that about took her back to full. Holy smokes. That was tons of heals. Where's this guy at? And got the old back. Like her, her basic attacks still hit pretty damn hard. Where's it going? Heal up. There we go. Nice. I'm running support beta with my Hu Tao. Hey, that'll work, Rachel. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, already C6 Hu Tao. Yeah, so I have all the constellations ready to go. But I haven't unlocked it just yet. I thought I had... Uh, um, it's okay with Barbara with no setup because you only need E skill for Hydro. Oh well, yeah, that's true, Papa, Papa Boys. That's true. I'm going to try Xing Chou probably. Thank you, Flare Heart. I appreciate that. Did I say that already? $400 and still no Homa? Do I just stop? Yeah, man. I would say so. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, really sorry to hear that. <laughs> already um r5 staff of homa did you mitra or are you asking me if you're asking me no i did not r5 staff of homa i was trying to see if i got lucky let me shield up i was trying to see if i got lucky and um and i didn't i got another wolf gravestone unfortunately this person disappeared on me no i totally missed oh the rip in the chat Rip in the chat. I miss. Come on, come on. Alright. And I'm just gonna hold here. Watching your streams make me want to save up for Venti now. Venti, he's a beast, man. Venti's an absolute beast.